Okay, chance, because that's yes. my next question. Does it always work? No, it, it doesn't always work. Um, you know, to be high performance, the, the simple definition of high performance, there's two basic factors here. It's attaining results and it's about culture. You can't call yourself high performance if you don't get the job done. But you need to be able to do it time and time again. It has to be sustainable. So therefore, you need a culture that will get there. And culture is, is a big, big driver. Uh, you know, just mm -hmm. because you have a group of high performance individuals with the talents and the skills and experience doesn't mean you'll have a high performance team. Uh, I do a lot of speaking at conferences and meetings around high performance. And one of the stories I often share is a climbing story of a mountain called Cho'oyu, which I attempted a number of years ago. I was one member of a five-person team. Each one of us was a high-performance individual. We were proven, we were fit, we were talented, we were experienced. Not a single person made it to the summit. Had nothing to do with skills, experience, or desire. It had everything to do with our inability to work together as a team. It was an ineffective culture that led to a failure in results.